first 15 minutes on Fraser and we've got a flat. Let's plug the tyre. No idea how that happened, but I put the hole in the sidewall. Oh well, get it fixed, keep going. <laughs>
beautiful day after not such a beautiful afternoon yesterday. Um, we're camped at Eli Zone 4. So this is where we came. We haven't done the whole move around the island thing with the campsite. We've just set up. We came here on Wednesday um, and just set up here. And we've sort of ventured off from this site. It's not a bad spot. It's basically the most northern campsite before you hit Eli Creek. So Eli Creek's only a couple of k's that way. Not even that, probably a kilometre that way. <coughs> um, we're all buttoned up for the day because we're going to venture east no sorry west today we're on the east coast we did a big northern trip yesterday and went as far north as um, just past Nagala rocks so today we're actually going to head west and probably do the southern lakes road and then end up at Kingfisher Bay have some lunch at Kingfisher Bay and then find a different track to come back on. Probably end the day at Eli Creek because it's just a nice place to finish the day. Um, bonus of this setup is when you're somewhere like this and wildlife is an issue, like dingoes, then I can close it all up. I mean, that's obviously was the kitchen five minutes ago, but kitchen's now gone. It's closed up. It's locked up. Um, don't need to worry about up there there's nothing up in the tent besides a, a bed so not too concerned there and it means I can throw my rubbish and everything in here I can close the door dingo proof don't need to worry about the dingoes um, having this shower yesterday after having a big day and a wet cold afternoon nice and basic just pull that shower curtain over so that you, your clothes and stuff don't get wet um, it's just a shower bag just a solar bag hanging on a hook goes in through there we had no sun yesterday for most of the day so even the solar bags out didn't really really do much in the way of warm water but um it had maybe four litres of cold water in there and then I just boiled the kettle twice put that in and it was scorching hot well, I had a really nice hot shower yesterday so really nice easy cheap little mod do it yourself alright I'm going to do my last little check over that you should do every day just check everything's happy under there and then we're gonna head west